I'm Anil Kumar and here is a request from one of my subscribers on YouTube. Uh, they want to see more examples on greatest integer application. And here is one. Uh, now this example is also, I should say the question, has been put forward by my subscriber. The question is f of x equals 2 half of x plus 1 and this function which I've put in the weird kind of brackets is basically uh, greatest integer function right so when we write like this that means we will take the bottom value of the integer so that is how the greatest integer function is defined at times we may also write this as right kind of two lines here right so so I could put brackets like this also and then within the brackets I can write the fact function as given here which is half x plus 1 so that is the same thing. So greatest integer function means that if you have a number, let us say uh, 1.23, right? So if you have this number, then the greatest integer here is 1, so it is equals to 1. If you have, uh, let me use the second notation, which I have used in this example. If you have number as uh, 1.99, even then 1 is my greatest integer uh, in this particular case right so this is also one however if I have uh, uh, 2.0 in that case the greatest integer is 2 so that is how the function is so double line was in the brackets or or kind of this so this is also called the floor function right set so times floor means the lowermost value correct okay? so if that number is 1 2 3 1.23 lowermost is 1. So that integer is your greatest integer in that particular function, right? So that is how the function is defined. So what we have here is a greatest integer function with half x plus 1, right? So we need to sketch the graph of this function, determine the limit of this function as x approaches 1 and determine the limit of this function when x approaches 2 from the right side 2 plus and determine the limit of this function as x approaches 0 so that is what we are going to look into in this particular video now some of you who understand what greatest integer application or greatest integer function is can actually pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestion so for the benefit of most of my students on the YouTube what I will do here first is kind of sketch this function so let's try to sketch this function here and then we'll answer uh, these limits very easily so let us say that uh, uh, here we have a graph we'll plot a graph now let's say this is 1 this is 2 and this is let us say minus 1 minus 1 so if I substitute x equals to 0 I get 1 so so that is one point uh, and then if I substitute x equals to 1 let me substitute x equals to 2 I don't want to get into decimals so if I have x equals to 2 I get the value as 2 right so at 2 I get a value as 2 so let me write this as my 2 if I say x is minus 2 so for minus 2 I will get 0 so so minus 2 will be here that will give me 0 okay so fine so minus 2 gives me 0 and at 0 I get 1 so that is my 1 that is not well placed so what I will do here is that I'll join these points okay so let me just connect these points uh, and then we'll decide something else uh, since it's just a very approximate graph so what I'm saying here is this is this is my 1 okay and uh, because if x is 0 I get 1 and if x is 2 uh, in that case 1 plus 1 I get 2 right so this is a value at 2 so this is a value at 2 and if x is 1 in that case I get 1.5 so this value 1.5 correct that's not bad so this dotted line actually gives me a function which is inside of this function let me call this function as so this line represents 
half x plus 1, right? So it is not your greatest integer function, it is just half x plus 1. The idea here is, once we have this function here, then we'll try to figure out how to sketch the greatest integer function, okay? One more point could be critical for us, and that is, let me extend this a bit more, okay? Let me do this. We're trying to develop the concept. So minus 2, and so this point here, and minus 4. So if I substitute minus 4 here, so minus 4 divided by 2 will be minus 2, so I get minus 1. So I get minus 1 for minus 4. So that's the point. These are important points for me to sketch the greatest integer function, right? So now let's think about sketching the greatest integer function. As you can see from this graph now, if I have a value which is 1, then the greatest integer is 1, correct? So the greatest integer is 1 in this case. If I have any value which is less than 2, 1 1.9, 1 point whatever, the greatest integer is 1, but at 2, the greatest integer will be 2, right? So, so, so up to here, if you consider this line, the value is 2 at this point. But before that, the value in this graph is less than 2. So before that, the greatest integer is 1. So as it approaches 2, it may approach 1.99, but that is kind of 1. So this line actually is the graph for our greatest integer function, f of x. So let me write f of x here. As soon as the line crosses 2, the greatest integer becomes 2. So I'll fill this up and kind of go like this, right? On this side, I have 0 point some value up to 1. So before my value becomes 1, the greatest integer value is 0, right? So it's 0 point something. Here it is, here it is 0. So the graph is kind of like this. In this particular situation, as I have minus 1 point something, my greatest integer is minus 1 and it remains minus 1 until x approaches minus 2. At minus 2 it becomes 0 when the greatest integer is 0. So that is the kind of graph. So the graph which I have shown, which is kind of a ladder, a step function, is my... So this step function, which I have shown in red, represents f of x. You get the idea. Now it kind of becomes easier for us to answer the questions based on limits. So we have already done the first part. Sketch the graph of function. Do you realize that? Okay, so that is how you sketch it, right? Now let's see limit of this function as x approaches 1. It becomes simpler. If I write 1 here, we get 1.5. Now 1.5 greatest integer is 1, correct? So so when you're approaching 1, you, whether you're approaching from the left side or the right side on the graph, you're approaching a point which is approaching 1. So from both sides, you approach 1, and therefore the limit of this function is equal to 1, correct? So that is fine. So when you're approaching 1 from left side or from the right side, you approach the value 1. So therefore the limit is 1. Let's look into 2 plus. 2 plus means approaching 2 from the right side. So approaching 2 from the right side. So when you're approaching 2 from the right side, you're here, right? So you're approaching 2. So that answer is 2 for you. As you can see, if you approach 2 from the left side, you're actually approaching 1, correct? So limit does not exist as 2. There is a jump discontinuity at 2, right? Okay. Well, that is not a question here, but the question here is, what is the limit of this function as x approaches 0? So we can see, as x approaches 0 from the left side, so we say limit, as x approaches 0 from the negative side for our function, so if I approach from the negative side, it is 0, right? So it is 0. So if I have a negative number here, right, then 1 minus something is 0 point something. So the integer is 0. On the other hand, the limit as x approaches 0 from the positive side means right side. It is 1, right? So for this particular function is 1. And since 
both of them are not equal, right? So we see there's a jump discontinuity here. We say that this does not exist, right? So that is how you can actually solve questions based on greatest integer with different kinds of equations, right? So I hope that helps you to understand the concepts better. Let me know your views about it. And if you need more videos, I am there to make one for you. Thank you and all the best.